Hey guys, JV here looking at one of the coolest things you might have missed from BlizzCon this past weekend. As we know, the 26th hero Moira was revealed, a support that everyone is already calling the Zenyatta Symmetra hybrid of the game. We saw the new Blizzard World map, which combines all of Blizzard's IPs into one theme park, which is so nostalgic for me because I used to play World of Warcraft way back in the day. And then finally, we have a ton of new skins that will be in the regular loot pool. So those were the big exciting pieces of news. But what I found super interesting was this slide of concept heroes. Obviously, some of these made it into the game, but the majority didn't and have some very unique abilities and ideas that we could potentially see for future heroes. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, I wish all of these were visible, but this is kind of what we have to work with. So starting in the top left corner, we have Watcher, whose abilities are Staff Gun, Transfusion, and Teleport. What's funny about this one is besides the Staff Gun, it's very similar to what we're getting with our new hero, Moira. Transfusion implies a Lifesteal ability. Moira has one of those with Biotic Grasp, and then also a Teleport ability. It's also funny because this is kind of a dark and mysterious character. Moira kind of comes off like that, but when Blizzard seems to get down to their final, you know, look for a hero it's more of that you know colorful bouncy pixar quality you don't see that with this concept here but very interesting that watcher is very close to moira next is freak with a ph and when you look at this you immediately think of Junkrat. i'm sure that was kind of involved there but we have cannon stomp and attract the only one there that really reminds me of junk is the cannon because of his gun it's kind of like a cannon the other ones seem to be tanky abilities maybe that's what freak was supposed to be below that we have huntress which has crossbow multi-shot and imbue shot as abilities. This reminds me of a hunter, and wow, obviously, because multi shot is literally a hunter ability. But Hanzo would be the closest thing that we have in Overwatch, I'm sure. That was a bit of the inspiration there, but this is even more of a pure ranged ability looking character to me that we don't exactly have in Overwatch. So perhaps we'll see something like this in the future. Next, we have Rashi, who has damage beam, strike, and mass heal as ability. So kind of a support character that can also dole out some damage. Two of those abilities are dedicated to damage, but mass heal clearly makes this a support type character really we do not have anything like this so super unique looking character there below that is frost who has ice axe ice patch and ice wall as abilities obviously ice wall reminds me of may but really what frost reminds me of is destiny because he totally looks like a warlock for some reason this one is odd to me because it seems so vanilla it seems so boring and it doesn't seem like it fits with the rest of the characters in the game so interesting concept there below him is obviously mercy and mercy's real name is is Angelica. We know that she's got heal beam, teleport, and resurrect. Obviously, teleport didn't come out as teleport. More of a flying, gliding ability. But yeah, the basic concept for Mercy was here in this conceptual stage, which is really cool. Back at the top of the screen, we have an older guy who looks like a cross between an anime character and maybe a snow monkey of some kind of sort. The abilities are claws, ice storm, and freeze snap. I think it would be awesome to see another animal type character in the game besides Winston. And I think that's what Yetzi kind of reminds reminds me of also another icy kind of archetype for this one similar to May and of course our other frost concept that we just saw below him is Reaper who looks like he's pretty much been set in stone since they started conceptualizing overwatch from the beginning dual shotgun shadow walk and death blossom the only thing missing there is teleport and so it's cool to see Reaper in his classic form from the beginning next is Longshot, who has sniper rifle grappling hook and visor so immediately this makes you think Widowmaker this is exactly Widowmaker a very early design and it looks like from this picture long shot was a female character some of the shapes in there are giving me that vibe but obviously they went in a different direction with long shot to make her look more like widowmaker but interesting to see the early design at the top in the middle we have rumble whose abilities are siege mode stationary shield and energy bolt so kind of a different take on bastion obviously they went in a different direction with bastion no energy type abilities there but definitely siege mode and stationary shield not so much but to a certain degree rumble seems like a defensive character so same kind of concept there below him is ironclad who clearly became torbjorn at some point grab hammer obviously we have that slam is not even close and then bowling ball we really have no idea what's going on with ironclad so it didn't look like ironclad was creating turrets or anything that torbjorn really does you know dropping ammo packs and providing those abilities so early on torbjorn was a completely different character below is cyblade 
great with super punch shockwave and backbreaker this is very unique we don't have anything like this and also hypersexualized right we don't have anything that is this revealing unless you're talking about widowmaker i think widowmaker definitely comes close it's almost like they got the look of Psyblade mixed with long shots abilities and that became widowmaker to a certain degree so interesting look there back at the top is helio who has electro maces healing light and protection very interesting look here probably a character that would fly around judging by the name and also by kind of the wings we can see in the background there from an ability standpoint nothing really matches up with what we have but it does rhyme with lucio helio and lucio so they obviously went in a different direction iris is a unique looking support character as well we've got particle beam a way to damage people and then speed boost and shield to support type abilities there speed boost obviously reminds me of lucio next is brit who has pistol support mech and attack mech so clearly brit to me looks like tracer in a way just kind of has that vibe but those are diva type attacks there you know having a mech where you can hop in and then pistol is completely different obviously diva has her mech turrets attached there but definitely reminds me of a mix of those two characters next column is hanzo who is clearly genji in the end game they split those characters that's something we actually knew about in the beginning this was one character hanzo had a bow and parkour and assassinate with a blade as well and so they felt that that was a little too ridiculous as an assassin type character so they split them in two but this is what the hanzo genji was in the beginning below that is symmetra an early version we have arc welder deploy three sentries and orb buffs as her abilities obviously they went away from the more mechanical uh, kind of machine look to more of the light, you know, photon beam, energy beam that we have in the real game. Below her, we have McCloud, who is very clearly just Mel Gibson and Braveheart, but the abilities are Claymore, Only One, and Stampede. So it sounds like a very in-your-face, upfront melee type character. It reminds me of Reinhardt to a certain degree. Not sure if this went into, you know, designing Reinhardt and his whole concept, because I know Reinhardt was fairly early on, but McCloud looks awesome. I would love to have him in the game. Back at the top again is is Troy, who has flail, charge, and shield as abilities. Kind of sounds like a crusader from Diablo, but in Overwatch. And also charge reminds me of Reinhardt as well. So tanky kind of concept. Below Troy is Hivemind, who is a very interesting hero for several reasons. Here are the abilities, lightning gun, disable, and EMP pulse. So it feels like lightning gun was given to Winston, who we're going to talk about in a second here. And then disable and EMP pulse is clearly Sombra. So it sounds like Hivemind didn't make it into the full game. They just kept some of those concepts concepts and then put them towards other characters so again like I said with any of these characters we could see that in the future next we have Firestarter who kind of looks like a transformer in a certain way it's got slag gun molotovs and eruption as the ability so again all around fire the closest thing I can think of for this is Torbjorn's gun kind of like a slag gun there the final row is kind of cut off but we can see as much as we need to see so we have Winston who at first had a flak shotgun instead of his lightning gun like I said he really just borrowed it from hive mind but Winston always had the leap and then and also a pound ability which could very well just be his super ability so in the beginning Winston was slightly different below him is Luke who looks absolutely positively demonic has chain sword spawn minions and flame strike very unique obviously Reinhardt has a flame strike so maybe he took it from Luke but spawning minions and having a sword in general is not something we have in overwatch so super cool looking there the final one is Praetor who most resembles Farah or Farah however you say it twin cannons tri grenade and hunter visor kind of has the same robotic bounty hunter flying look as well so that's what i think praetor is most like so guys that was my look at a ton of concept heroes for overwatch again it's kind of cool to just imagine what these heroes would have been like in the game how they would have affected the meta and possibly looking into the future and seeing what we might see next in the comment section below tell me which hero you think sounds the coolest and which one you want to see in the full game i think mcleod sounds the coolest i really want a sword wielding melee type character i think that would be awesome so share your choice in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more commentaries like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.